Just a little follow-up on the TPS potato seedlings. Uh, here they are after, uh, let's see, I think I planted these on the 20th of February. Yeah, and these are now, it's the 5th of March, and they've been germinating for, you know, four or five days they started. So there's quite a bit of really good germination with these seeds. They came up pretty quickly and uniformly, which is not always the case in my experience with potato seedlings. But I'm really happy with this first round and how they're germinating. And you can see that they are very, very similar. I think you can see they are really very similar in structure to a tomato or a pepper seedling, just extremely tiny. And so that's why you need to get them started a little earlier, just because they don't grow quite as quickly initially as a tomato seedling, for example, because there's just so much less energy stored in the seed and it takes them a little while to get going um, compared to like a tomato or a pepper. Uh, but they're really quite easy to grow. There's really nothing to it. Anyone who's grown a tomato can grow a potato seedling. One thing else I wanted to mention, these guys right here, this is the Careta Amarilla that I seeded in the last video. I said in the last video that potatoes are tetraploid, but that is not 100% accurate. Some potatoes are diploid. You will not see a diploid potato commercially in the United States or North America, I don't believe, but there are definitely lots of varieties of diploid potato in the Andes, in Peru and Bolivia. And actually this Careta Amarilla is a diploid. So I just wanted to clarify. Most commercial potatoes that you're gonna run across are gonna be tetraploid. That, that's more or less what I meant. Okay, so these are gonna keep growing and I will update you on their progress.